What's up everybody, it's your boy Showtime Doctor. I'm back to give you your building guide. So, you see all these buildings, they can be a bit scary. I still don't have uh, alchemy, the alchemist lab unlocked. As soon as I do, I'll get that guide to you guys as well. Or maybe it's just not out yet, I'm not sure, because I'm fairly high level now. But anyway, so your center building, what that does, it gathers gold and crystals for you. You see right here, it's full. Go ahead and go to it. And this will kind of do a countdown. So this is the button you click. I guess, hold on, I'm in the way. This is the button you click right here to gather your resources. And occasionally you'll get double resources, but we'll go more into that later. And as you can see, it's starting to build up now. So I'm getting 3,000 gold per hour. After 12 hours, you can see the timer right there. It's going to be full, and then you get 0.75 crystals an hour over here, and eventually it'll turn to 9 hours. Now, this can be upgraded. You can click this button over here. I've already gotten two of the upgrades. I'm foregoing the third one for now because I'm upgrading my farm. Uh, but I'll, I'll tell you what these do here. Move myself. All right, so this middle one... Actually, let's start with the left. So the left is basically your total storage. So when you start, you know, it's going to be 4,001 crystal, then 12,003, etc. So definitely I recommend getting that to max first just to have more storage and more time. Now it says here 36,000 gold, 9 crystals. That's what you just saw me collect. Now this middle one. That's increasing the rate that your farm is producing. So, like this is a thousand and point two five. If you farm at that rate, that's going to take about because you see this is basically three times that. That's going to take you thirty six hours versus twelve hours. Now this one it's a little bit higher, and then this one is the highest. So I definitely recommend get those two upgraded early because. You want to farm as much crystal and passive gold as you can in this game because you actually go through gold fairly quickly. Now this third option I chose not to do, but this is an RNG option. Basically what it's saying is 5% of the time you're going to yield 200% resources. So that would be, if we go look at it here, 72,000 gold and 18 crystals. Now you can upgrade it. Go to 20% with one rank, 35, and then eventually 50. I thought it'd be more worth it if this came up, you know, maybe to 300% or something. But So that's there for you if you feel like rolling the dice. For me, there's other stuff to upgrade, and it's not like that, that much farm that I want to roll the dice with it, per se. So that's what that building does. That's the very first building that unlocks. And, you know, be sure to check in every 12 hours and or whatever your timer is and get get your yield. And now be careful. You can harvest this before then, but the multipliers might not be there. So you might have X amount of gold and then you're about to get one more crystal, but you hit it, you know, seven minutes early or whatever. And then boom, can't do anything. Oh, and then one other thing I should mention too. The only way you can upgrade this material is to farm the map. You have to find the very last secret stage. Every map has a secret stage. And it's in the very last uh, encounter or stage, basically. And you will get like this, uh, you see this up here, this kind of, I don't even know, like a cylinder right there. One of those per map. And then you can upgrade one thing, so... And there is a hard mode to the map too, that's why, because there's only 10 maps, but there are also secret maps as well. So that's what you're dealing with there. Now the farm, come up here. This is, by the way, the only place you can use this red leaf currency, so definitely use it here. Basically what's happening here is, uh, this is an XP mon. I chose to get on its timer, so I just got a one star XP mon. Now, before I get into what everything is, let me go ahead and show you the upgrades. Actually, you know what? It'll make more sense if I show you what everything is. So this top one right here is an XP mon. So you click this, it'll set a timer. And then, okay, I'll click it. So you see how the timer's going. 
And then if you want, you can use this resource to just get it instantly. So. Simple. The second thing is the Evomon. Uh, initially, these are going to roll one star, and if you're lucky, like two stars, sometimes one star on this. Now, this bottom option is to grow a Mandrake. You need the Mandrake eggs. You've seen those in various other things, like the shop, as well as the guild shop. Um, so, Mandrake eggs, you need these for skill-ups. Skill-ups for your character's skills. So, but the prerequisite is you need an egg to grow the Mandrake. Now, the times here you can see 12 hours, 1 day, 18 hours. So real quickly, I'll show you what the up upgrades are doing. Uh, this upgrade over here, 97%, 3%. This is uh, lower tier versus your chances of rolling higher tier as far as your Evo Mon and your XP Mon. So, clearly the lower tier is the higher percentage as you skill it up. Goes to 99% and then 1% to get the, like, a 3-star Evo Mon. And then 80-18. So the percentage chances never really go that high, but it's probably still worth investing in. Just because you can, you know, you can uh, get a bunch of leaf up and then just go 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 to town on whatever you need real quick so that's probably still worth getting i chose to put my point into here what this is telling you is basically how many uh vats you want or farms or what have you so right now i got two that's why when you go back out here you see i got two of these i'm gonna get a third one just so you have multiple things going you know i think it's just nice to have multiple things going so that would be my recommended skill point. Oops. <laughs> Good thing I didn't have the currency. <laughs> uh, now this one over here. Uh, this basically means reduce waiting time. So, oops. 5%, etc. It goes up some percentages. So that's up to you if you're playing this game that much. You know, for me, I'm going to get the extra slots, and then probably I'm actually going to go upgrade something else. But that's there for you if you want that. Now, this down here, this is basically like your barracks or whatever. Uh, you send out people to do missions. It costs a certain amount of stamina. And they get this much XP, this much gold, and some of the units have bonus like 6%, 10%, so you get 10% more gold, etc. So that's what this stuff does. Now, as for the... Uh, oh, I should say before I get there. Um, first missions are gold, if you look at these tabs. This one gets you the red leaf. That's for the farm. And then when you unlock these, you have to un actually unlock these. This, this is one of the currencies in the shops, in the lobby. And then this is the PvP currency, which is also a shop in the lobby. And you have to unlock those. And basically, I'm not sure exactly which one unlocks what. Let's see if I can figure it out here. Yeah, no, one of these unlocks the arena one. The other one unlocks the other currency one. This looks like this is the maze. And then, well, actually, maybe not. Well, anyways, and then the more points you invest in them, the higher tier missions unlock. So you see here, it's like, goes to 7th level, goes to 10th level. And then if we scroll down, you can see there's plenty more missions to go here. So if you're really into, like, uh, passively EXPing up your characters, consider investing in this. Uh, I'm probably going to wait on this a bit. Because I'm having more issues with fodder, so the farm needs upgrades. But I'm considering this. I am considering this. I just got to play the game a little bit more and see. And by the way, when you send your heroes out on that, uh, you can still use them, you know, for your map missions or whatever else is going on. Now this over here, this is your forge. So the forge is basically, you have chance of getting higher, uh, higher tier gear 
and you can kind of manipulate that a little bit. So uh, basically to show you these tabs, these are all the like, you know, you want to build boots, you want to build a sword, etc. Right here. Now, this is, you guys might have seen like all the claw material. That's what the claws are used for. You can get them in that dungeon that drops the gear. Sometimes it drops gear. Most of the time it drops the claws. And then over here, if you look at the tabs, you know, there's different currencies. So you can build different types of items. Like if you notice, this will give you the base stats of defense. I guess they all technically do. Huh, I wonder if there's any type of difference in the type of gear. It probably is. I just can't read that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it now. Okay, so the set bonus is up here. So this is speed gear with crit. Uh, this is life, defense, and attack. And then this is counter... One of these is life steal. I forget what the other two sub bonuses were. Dodge, and that's something else. I'm, I forget. But essentially, and all of it takes different materials. So that's the difference in the gear tabs over here. Now, as for the upgrades, uh, on the left here, it's reduced the gold required to ten percent. You know, depending on how expensive it gets, that might be really good, especially for the higher tier gear. Uh, this one is probably what you want to invest in. This increases the rate of getting higher rare equipment. So you see here 45%, 49%, 6%. I would guess that's like tier 2, tier 3, tier 4, or something to that effect. And then as you get a little higher there, this eventually doubles the high rate for the good armor. So basically you're improving your RNG, which is probably something I'm going to invest in for this, considering it's finite resources and etc. And then the last upgrade, right over here, it's basically reducing the material required. So that can as well be pretty good, 10, 20, 30%. You know, just going to have to see how things shake out, because... So far, farming this isn't super difficult, but I'm imagining later on it'll get to be that way. But anyways, guys, so that has been your building guide. Hopefully you guys understand this a little better. As soon as... I don't know when you get the alchemy. It might be, like, late, late game. I don't know. Because I'm freaking, like, level... You know, let me look at my rank. Yeah, I'm ranked 26, so... I mean, it's not, like, super, super high or anything, but... I figured it would have unlocked by now, but maybe it's, like, rank 30 or something. Who knows? But anyways, guys, that has been your building review. Oh, real quick, so I could show you guys. We'll go out to the world map. Uh, the time got, uh, quest thing I was talking about was right here. Occasionally, it'll put, like, a orange dot here. Then you click it, it'll tell you what to do. You just click go, and then it'll run you to wherever you gotta go. And then you gotta complete the mission in X amount of time and you get the currency. That was a guild currency. So I forgot to mention that earlier. All right guys, so I'll be coming back with more, one more guide and then I'm done for the day. <laughs> So hopefully that helps you guys out. Now that you know, if you watch my previous video, you know a little bit more about guilds. Now you know some more about the buildings. Next up, I'm going to be doing a combat video. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. Peace out.